Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Terra Spatial. Today I will show you how to create a layer and add points in QGIS. So let's get started. So go to the option called Layers, click Layers, create a layer, and go to the new temporary scratch layer. So now let me enter the layer name. So let me enter as demo. Demo layer. So let me choose the geometric type as a. So in this, you can able to choose a variety of types. You can choose point, polygon, curve polygon, or uh, lines. So as you wish. Uh, now I will choose as a point. So now let me choose as this project projection. So now, so now click OK. So you can you can see at the left uh, left side layer section we have our new layer called demo layers. On double clicking this, we have our properties the layer properties. So the layer property can be opened by double clicking it. So this is our layer property. So here we have variety of options in our layer properties. And I will uh, discuss this la layer property in upcoming videos. So let me uh, click OK. So our aim is to add a points to our existing uh, study area or uh, to our layer. So let's get started too. So now we're going to put the points on our map. On this layer, we're going to put the points in this layer. So now you can able to see this option called toggle editing. That is in the pencil shape. So let us click that. On clicking that, we are going to enter into the editor mode. So now we have clicked it. You can see now variety of options has been appeared here. And we can see that this is called as an add point feature. So now let us click the add point features. So I have clicked the add point features. Now let me uh, add the points to our layer. So let me do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are the points as been, uh, has been added to our layer using the, using the tool called Add Point Features. So let me add few more points. And uh, these points, you can see the variety of uh, have different points. And these points are called as a features. So, on the maps, we have a different uh, features, such as uh, we have a river feature, we have a settlement, we have uh, mountains, rivers, and uh, etc. Schools and the schools, colleges. And these points, each point will represent each of that features. One may be this point may represents a settlement, this point may represents a mountain, this point represents a college and school. So when, whenever you create a whenever you create a point feature, each of these points are uh, are entered in a table, a table containing a fields and uh, representing uh, representing a rows and columns and uh, with features just like a uh, uh, just like in ArcGIS, uh, we, share, we name as a table of contents. So in this, each points are uh, entered into a table called entered into a table. So the each points or the feature created here represents a row, a row in the table. That is then a table of content. So to view this table, we have to go to the section called. Uh, so. This is called as an open attribute table. So each features are represented in a row. So one feature will represent in a row and another feature will be represented in another row. So this is called as open attribute table. So let me click that. So you can see that we have created a 13 points. Each points that is represents a feature. So we have feature starting from 1 to 13. So we have 13 points in our layer. So each the each of these points are called are also called as a feature because 
In a map, we have uh, different features such as a settlement to a reverse to mountain. So now you can see that there is nothing has been added to our points. So, so let us uh, see that we have to now we have to uh, add a feature to it. Suppose we can represent one as a, a building, two as uh, two as a settlements, three as a reverse, four mountains. So in this way, we can represent each of these points as a different features. So we can able to add a different uh, fields and we can mention as a each point represents this feature and so uh, similarly we can represent one as a building and three as a reverse by adding a field into this table of uh, this attribute table so let me close this i will show you another tool called as an identity tool so let me show you that so you can see that in the top uh, right corner there is a fair, there is a tool called as an identify features this uh, this tool is called an identity identity feature so let me click this so now we have identity tool as on so let me click this point so so you can see that we have uh, identity identify results if you are adding a different uh, fields to the in uh, using the open attribute table you can see the details about the particular points suppose if we are adding that uh, this point as a, a river in a open attribute table in this uh, attribute table the point one suppose represents a river so now on clicking this uh, point you will give uh, you will receive about the information from the identity identify results so here we have uh, entered not we have entered uh, nothing here uh, similarly if you enter uh, information about that point you will get uh, complete information about that point feature here using the identity tool identity tool that is available here so in this video i have i have shown you how to create a layer and uh, add a points to our layer and also i have shown you the use of the identify tool that is available here so please subscribe to our channel Terraspecials and thanks for watching